What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and I wanted to do something a little different today. I wanted to try out, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this company, it's called Snack Crate. So just a little rundown, pretty much what it is, is you order, it's like a monthly subscription. You order every month and it sends you international snacks from like all over the world. So sometimes you may get like Japan or Australia or South Africa. So actually today, I ordered the South Africa box. So, let me open it up. I'm so excited. Okay, here, I'll give you guys the first one. Ready? Wow, you guys. Oh, it says, welcome. The month, this month we explore South Africa. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. I think this is just, I don't know what this is. So we'll just put this to the side. Okay, I think this is a list of everything we have in here. Um, so, I guess we could just get started. Um, let's see. All right, so the first thing I noticed is they have this bag. It actually says Simba, like the Lion King. Big Lion King fan out there. And what is this? I don't even know what this is. Huh. Go figure. They didn't put what this is. So I guess we're just gonna have to take a guess. All right, we'll take a guess because they didn't put what this is. So this is Mexican chili flavored potato chips. Um, hmm. Give it a try. Okay. Oh, these are spicy. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this is spicy. Look at this. I didn't even know that there was like a little freaking jalapeno. But other than that, that one's okay. I'm mad that it doesn't say because now I look stupid, but whatever. It was pretty good. Um, I would rate that maybe like a three out of five. It lacks flavor just at the end. It just tastes spicy. Alright, the next thing I see here is... Guys wanna, I don't know if you guys want to see it. Let's try something different. There's a bunch of stuff here. Oh my god, there's a, there's a freaking ton of stuff here, actually. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if there is something for this. And go figure, I think they just probably threw random stuff in here. Like, oh, no, okay. So this is called Mini Cheddars. I don't know if you guys are familiar with what that is. Bite-sized crunchy biscuits infused with zesty South African flavors. We've included either the original cheese or fruit chutney variety. So this is actually the cheesy flavored and it says it's baked, not fried. So let's give this a try. Hmm. Okay, so these aren't nothing too big about these. These are they taste like Ritz crackers with cheese. Or maybe is there Ritz crackers with cheese? Does Ritz have cheese on crackers? Okay, whatever. But this tastes like Ritz. It's nothing good, so. Um let's see. Okay. This next one. It's called Big Corn Bites. Bright yellow bag, look at this. And it says honey mustard flavor maize chips. It's a light and crunchy corn snack infused with the big flavors of savory and sweet honey mustard. 
Oh, I hate honey mustard. I hate mustard. Oh. Oh god. So what's really weird about these is I don't really taste mustard. It just tastes like a corn chip. Hmm. Okay. So far, five out of five. I would get these. I would definitely buy these again. Let me just drink some water. Just trying to clean my palate. Palette, palette, whatever that is called. Okay, let's see this. Ooh, this is called Eat Some More Biscuits. Look at this. Don't know if you can see that, but let's see. Eat Some More. Okay, so this is actually a popular ever since 1940. These delicious shortbread cookies will surely leave you with the desire to eat some more. Oh. Oh, it's eat some more. Like, eat some more. Like, eat it. Eat it. Open it up. Give it a try. Doesn't hurt. So these are actually good. They remind me of some kind of like a shortbread biscuit from like the grocery store. They are dry though, but they start like melting your mouth as you're chewing. I would definitely give this a four out of five. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna finish that. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so I want to try this thing. So this is actually called Nestle Text, the lighter side of life. And what this is, a Nestle Text bar since 1956, South Africans have loved this combination of milk chocolate filled with wafers and an aerated chocolate center. So, I think this is pretty much like a, um, uh, what's it called? Not a Twix, maybe like a Kit Kat? Look, I'll show you guys it. It's interesting, right? Hmm. So, it's keeping a cool hmm, refrigerated area. Milk chocolate confection with arrow center and filled biscuit wafers. Let's get this try. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Okay. First things first, this is definitely really chocolatey. And it's almost a little hard. I don't know if that's even like, let me taste it again. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely a little hard when you first bite, as you can hear. Um, but it's really chocolatey. It's really tasty. It just reminds me of like a Kit Kat, but like thicker. Look at this. So, look at this like a four out of five. It's a lot of chocolate, so. Put that to the side. Let me get my pan of it. I want to try something. Let's try this. Ooh, let's try this. Okay, let's try this. Okay, this is actually called. Okay, this is a five star. Look at this. Right? Five stars. Don't forget to rate me five stars, girls. So, hmm, let me see. 
It's a Cadbury milk chocolate caramel and crunchy biscuit. So this is a classic Cadbury milk chocolate wrap around a filling of creamy caramel and cookie bites in this highly sought after candy bar. Hmm. It's a lot of candy bars. I thought it was gonna give me like gummies and you know different like stuff like that, but it's okay. Oh my god. Okay, so. If you're a fan of Cadbury, I think you would like it. Um, but I'm not a fan of caramel. It just sticks to my teeth. And... Um, Ugh. It's too much caramel, but it's good. Look, it's good. I don't know if you can see it, but I would give this. I'm not a big fan of caramel, so I give this like a two. But if you're a fan of caramel, I think you would definitely, definitely like this. So look out for that. The next candy bar. Oh my god, we got so much candy bars. The next candy bar is a bar one peanut. Perfect for a 24 hour day. Enjoy layers of malted nougat, peanuts, and caramel, all wrapped in delicious milk chocolate. So, let's go. So much freaking candy. All right, so first thing, first impression, Reminds me of like a Snickers. Like it literally has like the waves and everything that Snicker has on top. So we'll give it a try. Okay, so here's the thing with this. It tastes exactly like a Snicker, no different. Um, I think the nougat's throwing me off. I think it's too sweet, but it's not bad. Maybe I'll finish this. I'll probably finish this later. Let's change it up a bit. Let's try something different. This is actually a bite-sized crunchy biscuit infused with zesty South African flavors. We've included either the original cheese or fruit. It's the same thing. They literally gave me... Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is actually fruit chutney. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. I just had something that tastes like this recently. What was it? Oh my god, what was it? I can't think about. It. it has like a. It says it's fruit chutney, but it's really sweet. It's like sweet and savory. I can't think of it, but um, three out of five. Yeah, definitely three out of five. All right, let's see. Oh my God, look at this. Talking about Cadbury, more Cadbury. I feel like these people are like known for Cadbury. And if they are, then let me see if they say something. It says, South Africa is home to the highest commercial bungee jump in the world at 710 feet. Now I'm an adventure seeker, so I'll definitely do that. Not afraid of heights, actually. 
The oldest remains of modern humans were found in South Africa and are well over 160,000 years old. The first human heart transplant was performed in Cape Town in 1967. Huh. I guess these are just some fun facts of um, like South Africa and you know what their country has to offer. But let me keep going. Um, so this is a what is this and you know my luck they didn't list it. So it just says Cadbury top deck just a Cadbury milk bar. Let's give it a try. Like I said earlier, uh, with the other thing, if uh, the five star, if you're a fan of Cadbury, I don't see you having a problem with these Cadbury products. Oh, this is different. Okay, so look at this, actually. I don't know if you could see it, but if you notice, there's like white marshmallow topped off. And I think that's why it's called... <laughs> it says top deck right there. That's why it's... Okay, so these are not that bad. Um, just really like chocolatey and creamy. I'm sorry I keep making these faces. It's just, I don't know, like too much chocolate in a candy bar, I guess. It's just unappetizing in a way. Just to me, like not to anybody else. To each his own. You like your candy bar, you like your milk chocolate, however you like it. No judging here. I just gotta drink some water because this is too much. It's a lot of chocolate. I kind of was expecting like some like really cool exotic stuff. But that's okay. Alright, let's switch things up. This says this is another <laughs> This is another candy bar. Uh, this says peppermint crisp. A true South African favorite. This sweet treat is filled with the crisp cool flavors of peppermint, cracknel, and coated in rich chocolate. Okay, so from the outside, you know what this is kind of reminding me of? I don't know if you're familiar with um, the Andes candy. You actually get them when you eat at Olive Garden here in the U.S. I don't know who's where you're watching from, but here in the U.S., if you eat from Olive Garden right at the end of your meal when you get the check, they put little Andes candies. So this is what that kind of reminds me of. So let me. It's like a little Christmas wrapper. All right, let me give this a try. Okay, so. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so first thing I noticed because the bar was broken. In the inside, it looks like green and crystallized. I don't know if you guys, it's weird, right? It's different. So let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 This. This pretty much tastes like Ghirardelli peppermint bark. It's usually like a seasonal chocolate that comes around. You can find it at like uh, like Ross, Marshall, sometimes Giants, um, any supermarket or grocery store. It's really famous. But the weird thing is the only like difference that I'm like tasting. If you see on the inside where I was talking about that it's all like crystallized, it actually has like the texture of candy cane. And it's really peppermint, like really peppermint. So, I like this. I'm a fan of peppermint chocolate, so I would eat this. I would actually give this a five out of five. It's really different. Yeah, it's really different, but I would definitely try that again. And I think the last thing is we have, let's see if it's even listed, because nothing's goddamn listed in this stupid box. 
is called Nosh. Look at this. Nosh. <laughs> Nosh you later. All right, let's see. This delightful nougat bar is made with real hazelnuts and creamy caramel, all coated in a smooth milk chocolate. Some more chocolate so I can shit later. Okay. Nosh. Hey, Nosh. Wanna go on a date, Nosh? Hmm. Okay. Okay. This one burst the hunger with a burst of hazelnut nougat caramel smothered in milk chocolate. It's made by Beacon. Where is this from? Well, yeah, I guess it's from South Africa too. But. This literally tastes like a uh, Ferrero Rocher, you know, the little uh, gold balls, um, <laughs> gold balls, gold coated chocolates. Um, they have like a hazelnut in the middle and then they have like a uh, chocolate uh, covered and then the outsides are like, covered in like, um, like crushed hazelnut or peanuts. This is literally a Ferrero Rocher candy bar. It tastes so good. Yeah. This is definitely really good. So, uh, all these candies here, and everything we tried, I think my favorite is the, the peppermint. But when that tastes like the peppermint bark from the store, oh, that's one everywhere. Um, Nosh. Love the name, very creative, love it. And since it tastes like Ferrero Rocher, and Ferrero Rocher is like one of my favorite chocolates. Good job. Um, no, that was nasty, that was nasty, ew. This was kind of good. This still, I can't, let me, let me, let me see if I can get the taste for you guys. Okay. Yes, I knew it was there. So this, I actually have to taste it one more time. This tastes like, you know the flavoring inside the Chex Mix? The Chex Mix is like that big bag of variety, like pretzels, little like breads, um, like little like dried up pieces of bread. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's like, like little pieces of bread. Um, they have the Chex, obviously like the Chex cereal. I don't know what else is in there, but. These are good. Oh, these are definitely good. These are the corn chips. Mm. <laughs> if only you could have some. Okay, take them. It's so good. Okay, so. I feel so full. So much cookies, so much food, so much chocolate bars. I never knew that South Africa, oh my God. I never knew that South Africa had so much candy bars. Like, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, so that was fun. Um, I would definitely try Snack Crate again and see what other like cool countries. Uh, maybe I could like do another review for you guys and. I'm just doing it so you know you don't have to uh, waste your money. Um, and yeah, I think we're done here. Wait, what's this? Caribbean onions? <gasps> look at this! I didn't get this, but look at it. It's. Let me see if I can. Caribbean onion lays. Oh, I didn't get that. I don't know why they have it listed here. No good snack crate, no good. Other than that, I had a blast trying all these different candies from South Africa. 
I probably will order again from Snack Crate. This time, try a different country, see what other like candies and stuff is out there. And I think that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to stay tuned because we are dropping videos very soon. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Do I have anything else to say? It's really quiet in here. Do you guys hear that? No. Okay. I'm going crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And you guys have a great day. Uh, till next time. Bye.